Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So I'm gonna show you what I do for my weekly maintenance on my lawnmowers. Um, I actually neglected doing it last week, I just didn't get time to. So basically all I do, I, I take the blades off, clean the decks, and I uh, grease up all the grease points on the mower. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. Um, and the reason I like my walker so much is because the deck is so easy to flip up and uh, change the blades on. I've seen other guys where they have to get a lawnmower jack, jack the mower up, get underneath there, and it looks so awkward. And I don't know, I just, when I first started doing lawn care, I had a John Deere residential mower, and it basically had to do the same thing. I took the deck off, dragged it out of the, from underneath the mower, and it was just so much work, then flipped the deck up on the side, and I, it was so ridiculous, I hated doing it. I, I already don't like working on engines and mowers and stuff, because I just don't like engine and, and that kind of stuff, but I got the mowers and I have to do it, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Also, if you guys have not done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit five, 500 subscribers by the end of the season. All right, well, let's get into the uh, cleaning of the decks and sharpening the blades. So first things first. We got we got left the deck up. So it's really easy. Pop the two red handles out. Grab this lever here, pull it up. and pop it on the clip. Now my guys had the mowers out last week. I didn't do any lawn care last week, I was sick. So I had my guys out for two days cutting lawns and no problems at all with them. So it looks like it was pretty good with the um, deck, they're pretty clean. So I'll take the uh, blades off and then we'll sharpen them. So that's one off. All right guys, so I sharpened my blades inside. I have a vise right here that put the uh, blades in to sharpen it. Now I've seen other guys on YouTube just holding the blade like this and sharpening it like this. To me that's very dangerous and sketchy. Um, if the grinder slips on you, you can cut your leg. Um, so this is how I do it. Now it is inside and some people will say, we're well, gonna get all the filings everywhere and may catch a fire. Haven't happened yet. Um, I find it just easier to put it in a vise. Um, I should probably find a vise and put it outside and make it even easier. So the grinder I use is just one of these. Now the grinder uh, pad is worn out so much, I need to buy another one because it's uh, pretty bad. So I just plug her in. Actually, when you do this, you should be wearing eye, eye safety because um, sometimes I've had sparks hit me on the face before and it hurts. So. Um, I don't have any safety glasses down here. Actually, here's some here. Never use these, they're dirty. I'll clean them off and I'll see how these work. They're pretty bad. No, nope, these aren't gonna work at all. All right, so that's why I do my blades. Uh, let me know how you do your blades in the comments below. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it the right way. I know you're supposed to go and uh, level and make sure they're level. I never have done that before. Um, so I'm gonna take the other blades off and then I'll come do the other ones as well. So the next thing I do, I grease all the points up. Uh, this is grease gun I use. Um, I have to buy a new hose here because it's actually leaking out of here now. Um, but yeah, grease all the points up. So there's two on the wheels. I grease these ones. 
Got a couple over here on the deck. Now, I try to do this every week, especially in the springtime or in the midsummer when it's really hot and dusty. Uh, there's dust all over the place, and especially with these ones here, they're really hard to get in and out if they're not greased up. So make sure you grease those ones up good. Uh, there's a grease point in here. I haven't done this one for a while. I probably should do it, uh, but I'm gonna wait to do that one today. Uh, so I'll show you the other grease points in the machine. Now, the reason I love this, uh, this walker is because I've got the power dump on it. See this power dumper up halfway reach in open her up like that and you've got access to the uh the engine super simple to do this one the other walker it's a clamshell it's a lot harder to get into it because it's uh you gotta lift the whole body up all right so there's a lot of grease points on this sucker um i actually need to blow this out because it's pretty dusty right now uh, but anyways we'll start with these two here And I usually just go until I can see the grease coming out of it. That way I can see all the dirty, dirty grease coming out. Um, there's a couple in here. Oh, I'm falling out. Okay, and then there's over this area there's a couple on this more that's a little bit harder to get to because they're uh, underneath the oil filter or air filter I mean And I always keep finding more grease points that I did not know about. Even though I look over them all the time. Down there, I didn't know that one was there. Um, I think that's the last one right there. So after I do that, I'll check the oil quickly. I know you're supposed to check the oil every week, but I haven't checked it for quite a while. That looks good. I'll probably have to do an oil change on this one. I haven't done that for a while. And also I'll check the air filter. Air filter should be good. Just replaced them a while ago. So this one I could probably blow it out. Just give a quick hit just to yeah that was not bad. Put this one back in. Alrighty so basically this mower is done now. It's pretty easy to do it on this one. So what I'll do is put the uh, body back together, that, yeah, and put the uh, thing back down. Alrighty. So now we just have to do this one. As you see, had a lot of stuff in the uh, in the box. Um, with the Walker mowers, when you have the mulching deck on. Um, you're supposed to have like a little orange cover that you can put into the uh, chute so it stops all the um, all the leaves and that from cutting in the chute while you're cutting grass in the summertime. Um, I've put a couple in but they always seem to fall out and then get torn a bit so I've just stopped doing it and my one dealer recommended to me to, that I take the uh, the uh, belt off so in the summertime I'm not wearing out the blower when you're not using it. Well I took his advice to that one summer and it seized the blower because of all the water that got in there so I said the belt run haven't had any problems with it yet the only problem is you get the uh, leaves in the box but you just have to dump it out every now and then all right so here's a 20 horsepower um, I will show you how to open the box up on it quickly so I have to move this other one forward first all right so this is the first walker mower I have or had it's the uh, 20 horsepower um, it's a different body style than the other one it's a clamshell so what it means is it opens like this and you have to pull it up from the back now it's really hard to do sometimes it gets really heavy um, 
it seems that sometimes when I pull it up, it sticks for some reason. I'm not sure where it sticks. I decrease the grease points every week, so I'm not sure what's making it stick so bad. So here we go. As you see, it's sitting there. I'm gonna shake a couple times. There we go. So that's how you open that machine. So I'm not gonna show you how what I do on this machine is big. It's the same thing I do on the other one. So guys, that's what I do for my weekly uh, maintenance on these mowers. Uh, I do have my two push mowers, which I should probably take the blades off and sharpen those as I haven't done that for a while. So maybe I'll show you that as well. Alrighty guys, so if you haven't done so already, please like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I'll show you the uh, two push mowers quickly after I'm done this one. Like I said, I've never taken the blades off this more before. I'm dying to try to do it. I think this is how you do it. Another uh, screw in the center. I'm not sure what that's for. Guess we'll find out in a minute. So this is a double blade system. I've never used one before. I'm not sure even how to do this. So if you guys have experience with this, let me know in the comments below. I see how that goes. So two blades like this, take them apart like that, and there you go. So I'm gonna go sharpen these up and see how it works. All right, that was pretty easy to do. So I'm assuming when you put them back on, you gotta make sure that they're both together like this. If you put them the wrong way, they're not gonna work. So let's put them back on and see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so that's it. The small mower is done. I'm not gonna do the uh, other one because I did it a while ago. It should be good. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next video and uh, thanks for watching.